Hey guys, good morning. It's um, actually Friday morning. And although it's uh, 10 a.m., it's nice and cool due to the cloudy overcast. So it's nice and cold. So here's the piece. And these bugs. I'm going to try to see if I can wipe these bugs off. Oh, look at that. They do come off. I mean, some of them left a little pit, little pits. And then some of them left the little, little wings that I can't, I won't be able to. Well, maybe if I give it a quick little light wet sanding over this. Well, most of it came off. So I do have a I do have to have a clean surface for this. So I'm gonna clean it and then I'm gonna wet sand it just to get it a really thorough clean and remove any any little tiny pits or oxidation so but the reason I wanted to use this 100 course is because I wanted, you know, I did want it to scratch in a little bit the paint so that the, the caulking has something to really grab onto. I got all the flies off. I ended up having to wet sand the whole thing with the with the three with the 320 grit um, sandpaper. So I ended up doing spot wet sanding, but practically did the whole thing. And then I did this edge here with the 100, did the sand, the wet sanding, um, so 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 that the caulking can really stick, grab onto the to this edge here. I, had, I just had to clean it up a little bit better, but it's ready to be mounted. So that's how that looks. Alright. Yeah, so I can see it's a little it's a little wavy, but you know that's how that turned out but it seems to be you know it seems to 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 fall pretty close to the to to the contour of the roof so that is that's perfect right there because as soon as I put the caulking it's just gonna squish all the caulking is gonna squish out and then I can smooth out that those edges and it'll look it'll have a really clean look now that I reinforced it, I mean this, this, this platform is going to hold a lot of weight. Um, you know, it's just really, it's only for, you know, potentially two adults up here. But knowing me, I'll probably, you know, load it up with a bunch of materials and gear or whatnot. Uh, the spacer, the contour, the shape. You know, after fiberglassing it, you know, it actually turned out pretty nice so I'm happy with it set me back a whole weekend but I guess overall it was worth it but yeah I mean I'll always have these little wrinkles here that the remnants of the the battle between box truck Henry and the fiberglass and the weather the hot weather but dry test looks good so I'm gonna go ahead and put a bead of caulking on it and just sandwich it down screw it down and and that's it it's, it's gonna be a permanent fixture and then now I can start building the rest of it much as I can with my finger 
Um, although I do want a you know thick bead on it, I don't want it super thick where the inside, the far the further inside, will never get the chance to cure because it's uh, it'll always stay wet in the in the center. So I want to remove as much of it off as I can to give the 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 core an opportunity to fully cure. And then, uh, and that that should be enough. Really, wouldn't have to do any more than that. Sometimes more is not better. It's not usually always the case. Check it out. So, you know, it came out pretty good. It's smooth. It's smoothed out once. Uh, you know, once I put this uh, sealant on, so this stuff is uh, gonna last for for a very long time. Thing I love about this is, like I said, it's 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 kind of tacky. It felt it felt feels like um almost like um, that taffy when it's fresh and it's and it's really thick. So this stuff is going is pretty flexible so it's important for vehicles because there's always going to be some type of vibration you know driving down the road this thing's going to catch air and it's going to vibrate and you know a lot of cockings you know regular household cocking will just eventually just um fail it'll eventually just fall apart but this stuff is going to hold on you know for dear life um it's really good stuff so um really happy I, I found this stuff I got it three hours to burn so like I said I can't do anything to this until I don't want to walk on it I don't want to do anything to it until this thing has uh, has some time to to dry you know the can't say it's three hours but I'm gonna give it as much time as possible so I wasn't so I wasn't planning to do this section here just yet but I might as well um, and as you can see there's like a little gap right there <laughs> see what I, I was able to bridge it that way isn't, isn't that crazy this stuff is uh, stuff is pretty crazy it's really sticky yet durable enough to kind of bridge it where it won't it won't sag I mean it won't it'll just stay there crazy yeah I'm kind of impressed with uh with the stuff 291 lot that's that's the stuff right there all right back from my from my lunch went down to nations had me some pie it's actually only been two hours so, uh, so this stuff is still kind of, kind of tacky. It's kind of tacky, but not wet. So, it's looking pretty good. Looks like it got a hold of it pretty good. And this stuff is going to hold it pretty good, huh? I bet. I guess in a few more moments I'll be ready to start building the top but the other thing that I need to do is I need to straighten out this truck and this is also very important um, uh, I don't know if you guys can see but it's at its slant right now it's it's at a it's it's higher there and um, I don't know I don't know if I'm looking at this sideways or whatever but um, this truck needs to be completely flat because once I if I build it up and I drive it on I drive it off of this little little tilt here it'll most likely crack because it'll everything will straighten out I don't know who knows all I know the truck needs to be f completely flat even though supposedly it's you know it's it the whole piece is a solid piece it, it's sometimes not the case 
and just to be um, safe than sorry it's better just to make it flat so I'm gonna have to just grab a level make sure that the this, this truck is completely flat and <laughs> the car didn't start the truck didn't start you know the battery is completely dead uh, you can see with the spider webs I haven't turned this thing on in a while so that's another thing that I need to stay on top of make, make sure I you know crank on the engine and make sure the battery is nice and charged and and you know the fluids are in there are so I got these two side panels up for right now but <laughs> you guys are not gonna believe this uh, I don't know what happened or where I went wrong but I got that separation again on both sides on this side and and on this side so what happened is I guess when I molded the piece I didn't mold it with this thing on so it would <laughs> I molded it um, based on the on the foam and you know I was I, I guess the foam has squished or something whatever the case may be I molded the piece just by a hair inch a hair inch down here is a lot up here so if I molded just by that much it, it it just you know so so you know I got this glued down that thing is glued down solid and this thing is glued down solid and that thing is like stuck um, pretty quickly um, I started uh, I, I set it down and I went outside to kind of line it up on the outside and I couldn't even move it because it was it set the glue the glue was starting to set so quickly so um, you know by the time I, f I found I figured this one out that that glue has set already and I mean at that point you know there's nothing else to do but put this one on and see how this one turned out and sure enough this one you know uh, is uh, slightly slanted over and obviously I can't <laughs> I can't adjust this anymore because that's it that this thing is on solid so this thing is on solid this thing is solid this thing is not moving at all and and this thing is glued on you know it's already glued on so um, I was look I was pulling it back I was pulling this back a little bit and I, and I think I can kind of force it back a little bit where it'll, it'll kind of force the wood up a little bit and then lock it in place with the with the rivets I was planning to do here. I don't feel good about locking something in under pressure. I just have to force the thing back, lock it in place and I don't know how that's going to work because if I do that also I mean this wood here is solid it's going to it can potentially separate the my fresh caulking oh man it's it's a mess uh, so that's that's where I'm at right now so that's the dilemma <laughs> of many dilemmas that I've had so that's one of the things so I don't know I don't know where what happened where where it went wrong but um I'm sure it has to do something with um you know just molding that that front spacer without these things on and I relied too much on that yellow foam you know the shape of that you know I was hoping that that was you know just enough foam. I should have just put it back and then sculpted the piece while it was completely square but luckily i did it you know you guys watching this you know that's why you guys are watching me so i can goof up and you guys can um uh get a heads up on what not to do so if you know to scope that piece make sure it's these pieces are are at least screwed on temporarily screwed all the way back to the position that this this platform is supposed to be yeah i gotta i'm gonna sit here and just brainstorm and figure out how i'm gonna do this a wedge or a wooden wedge or maybe even it'll be easier to do um, fiberglass um, putty I'm calling it putty but the fiberglass resin 
um, peanut butter putty. It's probably be easier to do a wedge there than you know do it all up here. Because here I need the full strength of the of the you know riveting on the walls. These walls will be strengthened by the rivets here, and then this piece, obviously, this bottom piece is already attached, you know, to itself already. So that's probably not the worst idea, but that's the only idea I have right now. Let me see if I can separate this. I got one I tilt that one back but now I got a gap down here so I think this one I'd be okay to fill in with resin putty and then now that one I can lock it in gosh like I said luckily I'm doing it and I'm learning I'm learning it the hard way you guys get to uh, learn from my experience managed to pull that one off at least that's any position where now I can rivet into that one thing you guys need to know about wood is that wood will eventually start warping on its own so as you can see this is this wood this piece is supposed to be straight and you know towards the end it just kind of buckled that's the thing about wood you know you got to use it quickly you got to install it quickly because it'll warp if you don't mount it to the position you want it to be that's the effect of taking too long Alright, so it's the next day. Oh, well, this is pretty much all I was able to do before it got really dark. Um, so just an update on this thing here. You know, there's still I still have this little gap there, um, and I have it screwed in through the outside at several points to kind of keep it tight against the. The, f the flange or the lip on that I got a screw here so it doesn't move so this thing is actually on there on tight solid just just from bracing it this way but the problem st uh, still persists with this gap which I actually have an idea might be able to be able to redeem myself so my idea is just put a piece of board like a trim cover it up and then just glue it in the bottom glue it in the side and then just stick it on that way it'll cover the whole section there and on the outside do the resin um, sawdust putty and then fill that in to reinforce that gap there and then that should hold it on a in a solid structural manner not ideal not 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 what I was hoping you know having a, a pole like this here in the bottom won't probably won't impede too much 
and you know having a mattress here nevertheless that wasn't my intention of course uh, my intention was just have it one solid piece but um, that's this is how it turned out so I just have to work with it and um, you know just address it as the problems arise uh, maybe I'll even cut this at a diagonal that way I'll have a just a slant there and then you know use one half here and one half over here wood glue it and then on the outside fill it in with the with the sawdust resin putty which I got my sawdust here you know ready to go got some resin it is what it is I think it's a uh, good alternative a solid structural alternative this piece since this piece is going to be actually enclosed um, with fiberglass um, I still want to although I'm going to screw it in I still want to um, put some kind of um, adhesive to it which I'm using I'm going to use silicone this, there, this is the weatherproof silicone uh, the reason I'm using this because it's not going to be exposed to the actual weather but you know this is still pretty good stuff to, to kind of enclose and kind of hold this you know just keep this from vibrating keep it from rubbing and whatnot so I want to um, put some uh, a bit of this before I screw it in all right so this is going on with this um, as you can see it's not really touching there it's not really touching on this side it, it, it's touching you know it's pushed all the way back which you know now that I think about it maybe I should have put some glue but the thing is that this I was supposed this was supposed to be nice and snug so that I can glue it down and it'll you know prevent this from flapping around even though it's solid right now because of this guy um, but regardless it was supposed to be glued in uh, to make it one solid piece because this piece this wooden piece right here is now on solid because I just screwed it down and plus I added some caulking onto it um, So it was supposed to be you know one solid piece so so you guys can see it just just did not work out You know, I guess based on you know having to move these the side boards around and just things not going back on You know the way it was it, you know I had originally thought it was going to fit back on but Either way, what I'm planning to do here, just um, fill it in with um, the resin sawdust putty stuff that I'm, um, I'm going to make. So at this crazy contraption so that's what that looks like from the back um, yeah maybe I should have put some windows or something back here but you know obviously that time has come and gone and then I see oh, I see something up here that I don't like but it's too late to do anything about it well, I just have to address it once I get ready to do the body work to it. So that's what that looks like. And that's what that looks like from there. 
the whole top is all put in glued in you know I still have this problem that I need to address oh and I still have that bottom section to to install but everything else is already um, you know all the boards are already installed so you know that says you know, it's in a permanent permanent stage there that everything's some um, wood glued on so next thing I just need to let that stuff dry I need to just cut all this excess stuff out from the sides um, I need to figure out how to <laughs> jump start this car cuz the battery's that so I need to fire it up but um, yep so I gotta I so I have I haven't installed that bottom piece because I need to figure out how I'm going to address that bottom piece because that the, the this this piece here was based on that part being flat but it's not so I don't know I don't know how I'm, I'm gonna have to just do something else to it here not sure what I'm gonna have to do here but um what I said is I was going to put the bottom, uh, going to put a trim in the bottom, glue it in place. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. And then, and then I'm going to fill this in with um, the wood putty, which I was going to have to do anyhow because of the, of this radius that I did the wrong way. I have a feeling this is going to be just body work. A lot of body work, just trying to make everything that fit, had fit once, no longer fits. Yeah, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna address that part. But everything else is going up slowly but surely. This is Sophie just hanging out. She's just rather hanging out in the car. She's like, forget that. Forget all that noise going on out there. I'm just gonna chill in here. But she's doing, oh. <laughs> what are you looking for? What are you looking for, Sophie? You looking for this piece of beef jerk? This is my snack. This is my snack. No. This is my snack. This is supposed to be my snack. Do you want some? <laughs> uh, we'll share it. How's that? Good luck showing that thing. That thing was tough. Oh, yeah, no problem with that, huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs>